Hey, Dexter here. I'm just finishing off my video for my hike of the southwest coast path that I did this summer and I felt like it needed a little bit of an introduction. So I just finished my hike of Land's End to John O'Groats a couple of weeks before. That was a 1,200 mile two month hike and I wasn't ready to finish hiking so I jumped straight on this trail. Yeah, so it wasn't as fresh, it wasn't as new and I definitely don't look at this hike through rose-tinted glasses in this video. It was tough. And yeah, the best way I can describe it is it was the highs and lows of a lifetime, just over one month. Uh, so stick with the video, because it does get better. Uh, we all float on okay. And yeah, there are some amazing moments in there as well. Um, just a couple of things before the video starts. One, if you're interested in my gear, I did a gear video and that is exactly what I used on this trip. So you can see that in the description. And also I always get asked about how I navigate on my hikes. Uh, well, for this one, I used an app called Hiker. It uses your GPS to show you exactly where you are on the trail. It's a really great resource and it made hiking the Southwest Coast Path super easy. I'll also put a link for that in the description. Hope you like the film. It's only a week since I finished my Land's End to John O'Groats hike and somehow I find myself here at the start of the southwest coast path so I'm thinking I may as well just walk it. It's only 630 miles so let's just crack it out. Let's do it! <laughs> else gets this let me know if you do but night three on a long trail I always get the best night sleep ever and I don't know if it's because
about the dry docks and there's a list of all the different ships that were built here. Really nice little place. Oh, it didn't rain on the southwest coast path. Finding things a little bit tough at the moment. The weather's been terrible, pretty heavy rain, so I've been wet the whole time, which has subsequently made me get a bit of a cold. I made it about a mile this morning in two hours. I feel awful. Some, I need some special energy from somewhere. Because right now I'm not feeling it. I'm in the gutter. That was a weird week. Um, spent four days hopping from cheap hotel to cheap hotel around Newquay while I recovered from this stomach bug. I feel about 85% fit now, but I'm back hiking, which is great. Got a pretty great view today. I'm feeling so much better. I think I'm ready to crack on. Fingers crossed I feel just as good in the morning, but I managed 27 miles today. That's pretty good. And I've got this great campsite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
cold. It's pretty cold, yeah. We've had a day at the beach. It's been really fun, though. And we drank Rattler. Yeah. But good day. 17 miles. Not bad. Met Dexter in the, in the morning. Yeah. And we walked the whole day together. Good fun. I had such a great couple of days hanging out with Elle and Clara. Uh, we hiked together for two days and they were so funny. We were just joking around, palling about. Yeah, and after being so ill, it was so nice to have some company. That place is a chippy and a surf school. Only in Cornwall can that happen. I, I'm not sure if somebody put this on purpose, but um, I've got a bit of driftwood. <laughs> as a table on my own personal beach. So lunch today is pretty swanky. Had a magical few days this awesome awesome weather and since turning the corner at land's end and coming across the southern coast things have really chilled out that spoke too soon i've been so ill all day I'm just not able to keep anything down for my friend middle of nowhere. <laughs> I need help from somebody. <laughs> I need help from a doctor or I need to go home but my phone's about to run out of battery. <sighs> I'm completely helpless out here. It is so nice being in the woods after three weeks on the coast. Yesterday morning and the previous night was so scary. I was just having the same stomach cramps again, just the turning of my stomach, the vomiting, 
the diarrhea. I thought I was going to be out cold for another four days and I was certain I was going to have to go home. But I rang the NHS non-emergency line just to see what they thought and they said it's not uncommon to have a second surge of the of a virus like that so that gave me a bit of confidence and I just kept hiking so I just kept hiking and now today I feel back to normal it's so weird so doesn't look like my hike's over I'm gonna keep going Listen to this, the ultimate sound of summer in my opinion. Someone at the campsite just brought me a vegetarian curry. I'm so happy. So far, I bet it's been hard. There have been so many challenges on this. My illness, obviously. I think mentally, just being out here on my own. I've struggled with the motivation, a little bit of loneliness, and the path's tough, man. I've not been as quick as I thought I was gonna be. I, I, I feel like I'm quite good at this hiking game now, and to not come out here and crush it was, a bit of a blow to my ego, so uh, I had to reassess, reevaluate why I'm out here. <sighs> so that was hard. I've been rewarded with amazing views. The scenery's been way better than I expected. Just some of the sunrises and the coastal cliffs, absolutely unbelievable. And I've had some amazing moments on my own out there, waiting for the sun to set. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Hey, according to this, pool's only 175 miles. That is way sooner than I thought. That has given me a bit of a boost. That is cool. Not sure who Jenny Cliff is, but thank you for putting this here. 
It's giving me a... Yeah, let's go over this. Let's finish the ghost path. There's just been another signpost saying 206 miles to pool. Whoever put up that monument, Mary Watson, the face. It needs to be destroyed ASAP. PCT may have Eagle Rock, but here on the Southwest Coast Park, we've got Frogstone. My last night on trail, I'm camping somewhere a little bit different. Let me show you this. It was one of the craziest, it was one of the best and craziest nights of my entire life. I'm pretty much at the end now so I'm gonna sign out. It's been, it's been interesting. Done.